that's a lovely volley drop. Absolutely gorgeous. 11-10. And now game ball for Fairfield Methodist. Uh, what I'm experiencing is absolute joy. Um, it's been two years since we've got to play um, in the national NSG. So it really sparks the joy of competing again. And once again, being able to play with all of my teammates here has been a very enjoyable experience. And that is remarkable. 5-10 down, comes back, reels off seven points in a row to take the first game. Absolutely remarkable. Um, in the finals, even Andrew give one game. However, through um, peer encouragement and also um, a bit of calming down from uh, the coach, he was able to come back in the second to fourth set and eventually take the match. Ooh, he dims that. He had every opportunity and ACS wins that 3-1, 10-12, 11-8, 11-4, 11-9. This was the result we were hoping for. Um, coming into this, I think, because it's been so long since we've competed, so everyone is really nervous, you know. What I really like about what I'm watching right now from the Anglo-Chinese boy is the lines. He's playing the lines, playing a very intelligent game, very deliberate to a strategy. Um, I'm definitely really happy and proud for my school and my teammates. You know, they really put a really good fight with Fairfield. And I mean, Fairfield, on the other hand, they also had a superb performance. You know, they played really well and they persevered and were determined for every single point. They ran and picked up for every single ball. Keeping his opponent at the backcourt but playing the lines and then when he gets the opportunity, he is using the balls to bring his opponent up in front or the drop as may be the case. There we go with the line once again. Yeah, and so congrats to Fefu for putting up good fight with us. And this time plays the cross court, mixing it up and that's very clever. 10-4, six game balls. Yes, definitely very grateful for this opportunity to be able to represent our school. It was, yes, difficult in the run up. However, I think our team performed well and I'm proud of our result. Presentation. Very shortly, that will take place just in front of court seven. Uh, we hope that our sec trees will be able to carry out their matches next year and we hope that they will achieve good results and make us proud. I think it's really uh, nice to actually uh, participate in this championship because for the last few years there was COVID and then we didn't really get a lot of court time. We weren't sure whether there will be a uh, B division. Uh, competition going on because it was previously all postponed or cancelled so I think it's a very good opportunity for us to all be here and get to play especially against such a strong school like ACSI In second place, National Inter-School B Division Championship for boys we have Fairfield Methodist Secondary School I think being part of a team to me means that we are all very close, you know, we do a lot of things together after school, during school, during training, we get to know each other better and I think all this adds up to like help us, you know, want to win for our teammates and do better for our coach, our school, take back the, the title and all that, yeah. Really super performance by ACS and with that 3-0 11-1, 11-love, 11-1, and ACS wins the Division B boys final of the National School Games squash here at the Kalam Tennis and Squash Center. Congratulations to all players from both teams, superbly played, superbly contested, and it's really been a wonderful afternoon of squash. There you take a look at the scores. Very dominant performance by Anglo-Chinese.